Hey guys, welcome to a little bit of Hip Hughes history in my classroom of learning. We're gonna bang out the Berlin airlift in the next few minutes. Basic understandings, guys. This isn't a scholarly lecture. This is so you can walk around and not look like an idiot and definitely pass your exams. So check it out. 1948, 1949, Berlin blockade, Berlin airlift. Woo woo! All right, you want to definitely start off with the idea that the American foreign policy following World War II is called bam, 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 containment. See that? That we can't destroy communism, but we certainly are going to stop it from spreading. And really, the Berlin blockade and the Berlin airlift is the first major episode of containment um, that's not just purely economic in nature. Um, following World War II, the United States adopted something called the Marshall Plan, where basically we're going to bail out Western Europe, including um, the area that we're controlling in Western Germany in order to, in a sense, um, make communism less attractive to make sure that those societies are going to bounce back really quick. And of course, Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, sees this more as kind of a play for American influence. That the Marshall Plan is trying to expand American influence into Europe. He's threatened by that. So really, the Berlin blockade is a response to that pressure. So um, I never understood this, so I was an adult, so I'll just say it out loud. Berlin's in East Germany. And even though it's not East Germany yet, it's going to be real soon. Germany was actually um, divided into four sectors um, following World War II. The one sector in the East is under Soviet control, and then the other sectors in the West are really um, Western powers, NATO, um, allies of the United States and the U.S. controlling that. But Berlin, baby's on the other side. Berlin's in Soviet influence. Um, but the United States and the Allies have half of that city under their control, West Berlin. So what does Stalin do? He blockades Berlin. He's going to shut down the roads or at least make it so if you're trading, you're not going to be able to use those roads to trade goods. Um, and after only a week or so, Berlin is uh, losing electricity, the people are getting kind of hungry, they're running out of medical supplies, and Stalin really sees um, the West kind of going to be with their tail between their legs leaving Berlin. And I don't even think before this episode that Harry Truman thought that really maybe we would even stay in Berlin. But if we feel as though that Stalin is trying to expand his influence by blockading West Berlin to get to Berlin, then we have to stop the spread of that because our policy, baby, is containment. Containment. So that's what we're going to do. And the Berlin airlift is what ensues. So the Berlin airlift is an episode of containment to save West Berlin from communist infiltration, from communist expansion. So what exactly is it? Um, from June 1948 to May 1949, the United States and the allies of the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, other countries, are going to fly uh, roughly uh, 500 flights a day, um, maybe 5,000 tons a day for a full year practically, um, over West Berlin dropping supplies in. Um, it ends up being over almost a quarter million flights, about 200,000 flights. And actually, by the end of the airlift, they were actually importing more goods into West Berlin than they were on the roads before the airlift. Uh, and I think that it's egg on the Soviet Union face, that Stalin really envisioned a Germany under Soviet control, and certainly the, the city of Berlin under Soviet control. And that ain't going to happen, baby. The United States and the allies of the United States are going to secure West Berlin through that airlift, and they're going to stop the spread of communism. And eventually the Soviets are going to build a wall in Berlin on the East German side, right, to make sure that uh, West Berlin is not going to influence East Germany or East Berlin, and the people of East Berlin are not going to seek refuge in West Berlin. But there you go, baby. Uh, that wall is going to stay up to 1989, but you get the major idea that the uh, Berlin airlift is a response to the Berlin blockade, which is an example. Say it with me. It's containment. So there you go, guys. We'll see you next time when you do a little bit of learning on the Hip Hughes History Channel. And where your attention goes, your energy flows. And uh, that shall be all. <laughs>